Hi everyone. How are you? Hi Dashen. Hi Dashen. I'm good Dashen. How are you Dashen? I'm fine too. I hope everyone safe. So thank you for attending this virtual group discussion. So today we like uh, this like kind of a problem solving discussion or brainstorming our idea based on our current issue. The current issue we're choosing is about the coronavirus disease COVID-19 and our scope of this discussion is based on uh, COVID-19 among the school students. How we can suggest a preventive measure to reduce uh, COVID-19 among the school students. As we know, um, our Prime Minister Tan Sri Mahdi Nassin announced the lockdown in 18 March. After three months lockdown, government agreed to reopen the school education sectors. So now we're going to discuss among ourselves what are the possible solutions we can suggest to, to reduce the COVID-19 risk among the school students. So we are going to use a pre-term, jol-term ideation criteria for our discussion. So anyone can start with the problem statements first. Uh, I would like to start. So yes, it. Go ahead. I think it is important for us to discuss about this issue because you know, education is very important, uh, especially for the young age. In the current situation, I believe we have to focus on what we can control instead of what we cannot control. Uh, since we cannot contain the virus, so I think we should have like discussion on the prevention uh, procedure, like have a proper guidelines and standard operating procedure to reduce the risk of COVID-19 infection, especially among students in the school. So. What do you guys think? I agree with you, Hazi. As we know, it's not easy to control students under 18 years old, especially in primary school. They're not aware of this outbreak. How about you, Naim? I agree with you. Huh? An increase in the number of cases has made parents more concerned to send their kids to school. It becomes worse until parents don't want to send their kids to school. Between 20 September until 21st October, there is 578 cases kids are uh, positive, positive with COVID-19 and 670 cases of teenagers that, that have COVID-19. So I think it is important for us to discuss this topic. I think that's all for me. How about you, Adita? That's right, Naim. Most of the parents are afraid to send their kids to, uh, to the school uh, due to this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. As we know, school is exposed to the crowd place uh, because the government also said that we need to avoid 3C, three, uh, three that is crowd place, close contact, confined space to reduce the infection of COVID-19. To reopen the school, all of students students, teachers and parents need to follow the guideline and SOP that have been enforced by the government. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, our problem said was regarding our discussion. So what we really need to everyone is suggest is something need to there is no spread of COVID-19 huh? COVID among the school students in a school setting as well to teacher and staff co-workers who work at a school. So next, we moving to the solution. What are the possible solution we can we can suggest to what are the for, about the preventive measurement at the school setting? Okay, now uh, we moving to the to identify the possible solution about uh, to overcome our problem topic of the problem. As my solution, my first solution is to arrange SOP means standard operating facilities arrangement at the school. Example like uh, before the school is open, school management need to undergo the sanitizing process the entire school area. Then second, after the school is open and the students want to come to school, school uh, management need to have a temperature scanner, need to scan the body temperature of student and record it in the book. Make sure the temperature should be less than 37.5 degrees Celsius. And at the entrance of the gate also uh, need to have a provision of soap water or set hand sanitizer to clean their students and to practice the hygienic yeah, during entrance of the school as well as the entrance of the classroom. Uh, then school also need to provide free masks to all students or to the needy student if got a good financial stable. And 
as a student need uh, as a school need a specifically isolation room if the, any student got any symptom of a covid 19 like a sore throat high fever or coughing sneezing they need to isolate it in a, have a special room or isolation room to to, pre, to ex, as a preventive measure and at the school uh, the seating arrangement at the class should be one meter distance apart as well uh, 20 students in a maximum of 20 students in a classroom besides that need to have a what you call the one a physical distance from marking signage uh, during the entire school premises to direct the movement of a student to avoid overcrowding so that is my my solution explanation as an well, example about the SOP facilities arrangement uh, that's quite yes. an, that's quite a good solution Dashen so I also would like to suggest one solution which is to um, to ask the students to come to the school alternately which means that uh, the students will be separated into two groups the first group will come uh, on Monday and Tuesday while the second group will come on Monday no Wednesday Thursday and Friday so we separate both of this group and it is important to do this because we want to have uh, less students in school so that is why I think these solutions can reduce the COVID-19 uh, infection among the students in the school. So what do you guys think? Okay, Hazik, that's a very good idea. Okay, how about this guy? In my opinion, during break time, students are required to remain in their classroom. Who can advise students to bring their own food to school? But if the parent doesn't have time to provide uh, food for their kids, their kids can also purchase the food from the school canteen, which means that can, uh, school canteen can uh, provide a perfect meal that complete with food, drink, and also food uh, for the kids that don't have uh, time to bring uh, their food to the school. So, which means that it's uh, better for them because they, because they have choice. And also, uh, all the all the necessities such as wet wipe and kitchen towels are also provided by school to to help the uh, the school students to wash their hands and their cutlery. And if you ask me, uh, can these students go to the toilet? Yes, they can, but they need to uh, wait for their turn to ensure that these school students are following the SOP and have a physical distancing in the school. So how about you guys think about my opinion? So I will proceed with my solution. In my opinion, to reducing COVID-19 among students is students release time after school break alternately. By implementing this, I'm sure that it can avoid crowd during peak hours. As we have seen before this, the situation where after school break, everyone is rushing to go back home. Uh, if they still practice this habit in this current situation, this will increase the spreading of the COVID-19. Okay, for the example, standard 1 will be released at 12.30 p.m. And standard 2 will be released at 12.45 p.m. and followed by another standard. They must have to give a, have a gap between our uh, other standard to avoid crowd. And to implement this, uh, school management like teachers to need to inform their parents to the time they need to pick up their kids. So the parents will be notified and alert the time to pick up. Thank you. Okay, next solution, Atika. Um, my solution is drive through student pickup. Why drive through can be a solution to this problem? It is because the cost of infection does not start in school but is carried from outside the school into the school. So how to apply this solution? First, parents who will be drive through pick up their kids at the main entrance of the school at the entire of day and it will minimize the crowd at the school. Second, parents can choose enter the main entrance or exit gate uh, to the drive through pick up their kids which is uh, they not use the same gate 
Okay, and I know that this solution will cause traffic jam. So, to apply this solution and to reduce traffic jam, parents can drive through, pick up their kids, start from the main entrance and exit to exit gate. So, uh, now we have all the five solutions to solve this problem. We proceed to step three, which is the criteria that you, we use to evaluate our solution. Okay, the first one is relevant. What is relevant? Relevant is the quality of being directly connected with appropriate solution towards important things according to the current situation, which is epidemic situation. So, you can evaluate the solution, use this criteria by choosing relevant or irrelevant to this epidemic situation. I will proceed with a second criteria. Criteria that I'm choosing to support this, uh, my solution is sustainability. Sustain sustainability is the ability to maintain the solution at a certain period. They divided into two, that is sustainable and non-sustainability. -sust non sustainability is the uh, solution that can be uh, long term, I mean up to one year. It can be uh, sustained and for not, not sustainable is a short term less than one year. So we'll proceed with another criteria. In my opinion, how about we add uh, acceptability as one of the criteria? So by having acceptability, we can know the amount of acceptance among students and also parents regarding on the solution. For example, we can divide into three categories. High acceptance, moderate acceptance, and also poor acceptance. For example, high acceptance. With this 80% and above, students and parents agree on the solution. And moderate solution, around 40 until 79% students and parents agree on the solution. But in the poor acceptance, around 39 and below student and parent accept on the solution how about you have maybe you want to add something uh, i want to add uh, another criteria for the evaluation of the solutions so i would like to suggest efficiency as the one of the criteria in the evaluation um, from what i understand efficiency means like the level of practicality of the solution to be implemented uh, in a simple way, you can say that how easy the solution to be practiced or to be applied. So I think we will have three level of efficiency. Efficiency, which is very efficient, moderately efficient and not efficient. So if the solution is very easy to be implemented, uh, it will be considered as very efficient. While if there is like a few difficulties here and there, uh, it will be moderately efficient. And if the solution is unpractical, it is very hard to be implemented. I think it is not efficient to be implemented. So what do you think, Dashen? Okay. Thank you, Azik. So my criteria is uh, effectiveness. And effectiveness is uh, considered as uh, to measure the desired result of the COVID-19 preventive measurement at school. Like it's like is it either is a successful or unsuccessful? Get a positive outcome or a negative outcome. So in, in under effectiveness, there are two ranges. First is high effectiveness. High effectiveness means uh, from the SOP facilities at the school is give high beneficial to student, and everyone every student is to follow the guidelines. So it's called uh, it's categorized as high effectiveness. Second is uh, less effectiveness where this SOP facility management is a less beneficial to student and student is failed to follow and do not follow the guideline is considered as a less effectiveness. So there's high chances of poor effect infection of the COVID-19. And this is our five criteria about the about the solution. Five solutions as for the five criteria. Okay, so we will continue for the step four, which is we will compare each solution with the criteria that has been listed by us. So I suggest that we have we will have the students attend school alternately and from the criteria that we have listed before this solution have a high level of efficiency which means it is very efficient very practical to be implemented 
uh, which means it is very easy to be uh, applied. And second is about the effectiveness. It has a level, high level of effectiveness, which means when we apply the solution, it will be like give a good impact towards the reduction of COVID-19 infection. And also it has a, a good acceptability level, which means parents, teachers, and also the students can accept the solution. And in terms of sustainability, it has a long-term sustainability. It can be applied for a long-term long -term period. And for the relevance, it is very relevant because we don't have to like have produce a lot of costs in terms of financially. We just have to plan and manage the schedule of the students. That's all from me. Thank you, Azi, for your point. Yes. Okay, now I just want to compare my solution, which is SOP facility arrangement, All right. with my with uh, with my criteria. So my solution is very effectiveness, high effectiveness, because need to everyone need to follow eh? need to follow the uh, SOP guideline, and if your school have a good uh, SOP facilities, it can avoid the infection of COVID nineteen among the school students. Means it give a positive outcome. And the second, in terms of uh, what in terms of uh, sustainability, is a long-term uh, applicable solution, which we need to every student need to follow this SOP guideline, and school have must have the SOP facilities until free from the COVID-19. And uh, in terms of uh, relevance, is relevance to the current situation. I relevance means this SOP facility is uh, relevant to the accordance to the government SOP guidelines. And in terms of uh, acceptability, is highly acceptable, where uh, to ensure good safety of and health of the student, every student need to follow the SOP facilities, and the school must have the good uh, COVID nineteen preventive SOP facilities. That's all for me, and uh, Peter can continue with your point. Okay, thank you, Dashen. Uh, I also want to compare my idea with others. This is break time in class. So if we look at efficiency, my solution has a very high efficiency level. This is a uh, school not to spend a lot of money to implement this, uh, this solution. Then when we look at acceptability, it has a very high acceptability because of why? Because of uh, parents and students have a choice. If uh, parents don't have time to prepare food for their kids to go to school, so their kids can uh, make a reservation at school canteen to provide food for them every day uh, to go to school. So when when parents don't have time, then uh, the kids can uh, spend their money at school canteen, but have to make a reservation first. And it's a very sustainable solution. It can be implemented in a long period of time and also it's very relevant to solve this uh, COVID-19 issue in school. I think that's all from me. Thank you guys. How about you guys? Please? Okay, thank you Naim. I will proceed with my criteria. I think my solution that is student release time after school break is the best option because in the term of the efficiency, it is very efficient to be implemented. The management school like teachers just need to come out with a schedule and give to their parents to make them alert what exactly time they need to pick up their kids. And in the term of the sustainability, I think it is very sustainable up to one year. And for the acceptability, it, it is also high acceptance by the parents. And I think it is uh, in the financial aspect, it doesn't acquire any cost. The highest, uh, and lastly, it is relevant to be implemented in all aspects. That's all for me. And how about you, Nadia? I think Atika Solution have a good criteria for the but for the choice to the pickup also have good criteria to implement in this problem which is this solution have high effective effectiveness with the reason can minimize the coded and can reduce interaction between parents and school member other than that this solution is sustainable for long time period 
and this solution also relevant to the current situation. So, how about you, Naim? Is it uh, other solution can be the best to implement for this problem? Okay, uh, excuse me. Uh, I, I, I'm afraid that I seem to have a little different opinion regarding on Dutchian solution, which is the SOP facility to school. So, uh, I think that this solution have a very moderate efficiency because of uh, teachers need to have high monitoring and controlling uh, to ensure that students uh, follow SOP guidelines before entering school area in the morning, especially for primary, for primary school students and also preschool students. It's very hard for the teachers because teachers need to check uh, every student's temperature and also need to make sure that these students do not have any COVID-19 symptoms. In addition, uh, it also will cost uh, school a lot of money. Okay, for example, school need to provide hand sanitizer or face mask or maybe school need to make a sanitization process in the school area. So I think that this is very, uh, have a moderate efficiency because of uh, this solution will cost uh, school a lot of money. I think that's all for me. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Naeem, for to point it out on my solution weakness. Okay, um, I may agree with you with the moderate efficiency of, of my solution, which about the SAP facilities. Now I've just uh, I've just pointed out uh, name that uh, I found out that there is a less effectiveness yeah? less effectiveness in terms of break time in break time in class because it's especially to the student of uh, kindergarten or primary school students we fail to monitor them or control them it it, it might be possibility yeah? possibility of sharing foods and drinks with them it means they can be play food playful around the time they will playful at during the break time so this it's make it difficult uh, difficult to to follow the SOP guideline so they fail to follow the physical distance among the students especially the primary school student and kindergarten student so due to this because it can less effectiveness to achieve the desired outcome to as a preventive measurement of the risk of COVID-19 how about uh, any argument regarding other solutions Proceed with the uh, next. As far that I'm concerned, in terms of acceptability of the drive tools to the pickup, it's quite difficult to be implemented in this current situation because most of the parents, they don't want to wait for so long. And if we see that drive tools to pick up, it will create a jam and parents don't have much time to wait for their kids and it will waste the time of the parents. Uh, what do you think, uh, Jiha, about, about that? Uh, I think your, your solution is not the best solution also because student release time after school alternately less, effective, less effectively because parents not arrive the school in exactly time and not easy to control the movement of student. So Hazi, what do you think? Which one is uh, the best to implement to our problem? Uh, thank you, Jiha. I am actually quite interested in the drive to solutions. Uh, but then after I've like looked into the solution, I noticed that uh, it might have a few problems, which, which is the the time for the pickup for the students may be different uh, because you know parents have different time for their jobs etc and because of that I believe my solution is the best because from the evolution that we have before uh, my solution like have a good evaluations from all of the criteria that we have uh, discussed before so that's all from the from me thank you yeah, there is a good argument among us uh, to compare our five solutions with the five criteria. So respectively, they have a strength and weakness. Now, now moving to the to choose our best solution out of five. Okay. Now we will decide which is the best solution that we want to apply, 
and after the discussion before we have come to conclusion that we want to choose student attend school alternately as the solution uh, the best solution that we have picked and how to implement the solution is uh, since the student will be divided into two groups so the first group can come to the school at Monday and Tuesday while the second groups can come from Wednesday to Friday and this, this solution can also be implemented in another way which is in a month there is uh, there are four weeks so the first week uh, will be the first group turns and the second week is for the second group turns and while the students are at home maybe the teachers can conduct an online learning session or maybe the teachers can give a, an earlier homework so the students can do the homework while they are at home so that is all from me Oh, good point, Azik. Uh, I also support with Azik point, Azik solution, attendance school alternately. Just add up a little bit. Means um, it's very uh, effectiveness because when when there is a uh, attendance school based on the schedule, based on schedule or scheduling system or rotation system, where the student want to attend the school, uh, just based on the time frame or the day given by the assigned by the school. So it can avoiding overcrowding, overcrowding to attend the school. And also it is minimize the interaction of the student with student or student with the teachers. And also the another point given by Azik is uh, do online online classes or home based learning, which is another effectiveness to to avoid the interaction or contact with the students. So this is the best solution which can minimize the risk of COVID-19 among the students. And next, I, anyone want to support Azik point? Okay, I also agree with Hazit's solution. As we know right now, parents try to keep away their kids from school. They are very concerned that this virus might infect their kids. So, uh, by, having the, by having this solution, parents become less concerned because of uh, even though their kids can go to school, but not many students there because of the rotation system. I think that's why I like about this solution. That's all for me. Thank you. You are right, Naim. I also agree with the Hazik point that attend school alternately. Within the days they stay at home, uh, the student will use online learning platform or anything that suitable with their situation because not all students have the accessibility uh, to the internet facilities, internet connection and laptop. And so uh, teachers can give them early homework to be settled at home and something that's suitable for the students. Uh, how about you, Jiha? Do you have anything to add? I agree with you, Atika. Uh, the Hazi solution is the best to implement for this problem because this solution can familiarize students with new norms and can sustain social distancing for entire day with more smoothly. So I think this solution can be implemented uh, in this current situation which, which is epidemic situation. So It seems like um, everyone agree with Azik point attending school alternately. Okay, this is all our uh, best solution uh, among five solutions this is one of the best which can reduce the risk of COVID-19 among the school students and this is beneficial no? it's a beneficial to everyone involved in the school management and this solution about attending school alternately we can propose to Ministry of Education with the collaboration of Ministry of Health as well as the National Security of Council to have a little more detail about this solution which can implement in the entire school to prevent the major to to reduce the risk of COVID-19 and school management, school authority also can adopt this type of a solution as a preventive measure to avoid the spread of COVID-19. I think that's all from our problem solving discussion and thank you for attending as well give a good fruitful idea and a solution to today's discussion. Thank you so much. And thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.